Hi everyone. Today I will be taking you through the new Sage customer portal for Sage Business Cloud Accounting. We will navigate the different features that are available to you. Let's get started. Click on the drop down and select Accounting Portal. Click again on the second drop down and select Sage Business Cloud Accounting and click on continue. You will be directed to the Sage login page. For the new user, you click on create account and you will be able to create the Sage ID. What is Sage ID? Sage ID is an identity and authentication solution at Sage. It is a digital identity of all Sage users who engage with the Sage Business Cloud ecosystem. We have created a document that will guide you on how to create the Sage ID. This document is available on the Sage Knowledge Base as well as the Sage City Community Platform. For the purpose of this recording, I am going to use my account that I have created for the testing purposes. So let's get started. Here you will be directed to the Sage Portal landing page with a welcome message of the different features available to you. There are different tabs on the landing page that show you the different features such as outstanding balance, which shows you your total outstanding balance. The statements and invoices, which gives you a link to view your statements. Important notifications, most frequently asked you questions. Here you will have a view of the recent topics that have been frequently asked for Sage Business Cloud Accounting. Support resources. Here you get quick answers to popular questions on Sage City as well as Sage Knowledge Base. How to contact us. We have various channels to you to get in touch with us. My account, account management. The account management uh, page will show you the different features as well, such as my company details, account status, my queries, statements, and transactions. My company details, here you have the ability to update your company details as well as view important company information such as customer number, account number, and outstanding balance. If you scroll down, after having updating your, updated your company details, you will click on Submit for verification. Account status. On the Account status tab, you have the ability to view your credit limit and age analysis, as well as uh, have a view of whether your account is on hold or not. My Queries tab. On this tab, you can view all your recorded incidents or queries that have been submitted to support, renewals, as well as finance department. You can search on these queries either by all, not started, in progress, or completed. Statement. The statement tab is similar to the one that we have seen on the landing page. Here you can view statements within a selected date range. You will also have the ability to export the selected statement to Excel or the PDF. Transactions tab. On the transactions tab, you can view all your financial transactions that have been processed on your account having also the ability to select the date range. The support, the support tab or the support page 
will show you or give you the ability to log a query as well as view all my queries. Log a query. On the log a query page, as you can see here, your information such as the serial number, company name, contact name, com uh, contact number will be auto populated. All you need to do is to provide an outline of your query as well as the detailed description of the query, and then you click on post incident. The view all my queries tab is similar to the one that we have seen under my account and account management. Digital resources. Digital resources tab directs you to the knowledge base, knowledge base page as well as the Sage City. Let's go to the knowledge base page. Here you'll be directed to the knowledge base uh, for South Africa. If you scroll down, you will have the ability to choose your product. In this particular case, we are looking at Sage Business Cloud Accounting. If we click on the Sage Business Cloud Accounting, we will be able to see again the different articles that have been created by the Sage product consultants. Let's get back to the customer portal. Sage City. For the Sage City, we will be directed again to the Africa and Middle East page where we will be able to select the product in this particular case, the Sage Accounting. If we click on Sage Accounting, we will be able to see the announcements, news, alerts, as well as to browse through the forum and, and, and see the discussions that have been made. Let's get back to the customer portal. The legal tab, on the legal tab, you will have access to Sage compliance as well as the terms and conditions accepted. Let's go to the Sage compliance page. Here you can complete the form to request any documentation needed for compliance purposes. The training tab. On the training tab, we have the ability to go to the Get Started page, Learning Services, as well as Sage University. Let's check out the Get Started. If we scroll down on the Resources Center, we will see a tab for the Get Started. For the new user to Sage Accounting, you will have the ability to review the Get Started Guide, also get free started e-learning. You can start in e-learning, open the quick access guide, as well as watch the videos. Sage University, this will direct you to the login page for the Sage University where you can also access the online training courses available for you. Quick links. Quick links. This gives you the links for the contact us, giving you information on how to get hold of us, as well as the link to the Sage South Africa website. In a nutshell, Sage Customer Portal for SBC, for Sage Business Cloud Accounting, it is a central platform that houses all the Sage resources available to you. I hope you find this helpful. Thank you for your time.